Hello video, back with a YouTube video. Um, I was supposed to do this video two days ago, but unfortunately it's late, I'm sorry. Um, as we all know, Liverpool got beat 2-0 awful. Uh, which means 2017 has been a dreadful start for us. Pardon me. Um, I just don't know what's going wrong. Well, I do know what's going wrong. I'm going to tell you what's going wrong. Um, Jürgen Klopp's style of play, attack. Attack, attack. That's his style of play. Once teams realise how you play, they'll, they'll, they'll know. Our problem is, we don't we, we don't have a plan B. Right? That's why we got beat off Southampton. That's why we got beat off Hull. Um, that's why we got beat off Swansea. Swansea sat back, 1-3-2. Don't get me wrong, they scored three really good goals. But they sat back... Park the bus. Uh, that's what all the teams are doing to us now. The park and the bus, because they know for a fact every time we go forward, we're dangerous on the attack. We're very dangerous. We score goals going forward, but we haven't got a plan B. And Br Jürgen Klopp has to realise that. He has to realise a different way of style of play. We can't always go, you know, attack, 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 because we just get caught on the counter attack. We just get caught on the counter attack all the time. That's what happens against Stull on the second goal. Counter, counter attack through the people's legs. You know, two 0 we haven't got a plan B. We have not got a plan B. We need a plan B. And I'll tell you something now as well. Us not signing someone in the January transfer window is going to be very, very crucial. I'm telling you. Because that team, the confidence in that team now will be so, so low. It'll be unbelievable. It'll be so, so low. It really will be. You know, getting beat off all Swansea. Only won one game in 2017. That is a da very, very damaging blow to, you know, to the team's confidence. Um... We need to win. We need to win against Spurs. If we don't win on Spurs, I hate to say this. I hope this doesn't happen. Fingers crossed. I really do not hope it happens. The media will start questioning Jürgen Klopp. And if he starts to get questioned, he's not that sort of person to deal with that. He'll probably just walk out the press conference or he'll just... I don't know what he'll do. But Jürgen Klopp is a man of his word. And if he starts getting questioned to that, I just hope he doesn't walk. I just hope he doesn't. Obviously, he won't walk. He's not the sort of person to do that, but if the media start getting on his nerves and start getting on his back all the time, he'll definitely do something, do you know what I mean? Because that's, that's, you know... I mean, Jürgen Klopp is a nice person, nice and, you know, a funny person and that, but I can imagine him being very angry in the dressing room. I can imagine him doing that. Going absolutely mental. So, like I said, we don't need, we need a plan B or even a plan C. I mean, look at Chelsea. I mean, they walked all over Arsenal. And the reason why they're doing well is it's because the defence is really good. The midfield's strong. I tell you what, there's only one person in that Chelsea team that makes a difference, actually, if you ask me. That Kante. That Kante is absolutely... My God, I, hope, I, I wish we got him. He's absolutely amazing in that midfield. He controls that midfield. Uh, and that manager as well, that uh, Kante, he's, um, he's a good manager. Same as Jürgen Klopp is. Like I said, I'd, 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 I would not change anyone for Jürgen Klopp. But what's happened? What's happening now is it's getting to the point where like he needs to change his tactics like in different games. If you know what I mean, that's what I don't understand is now, right? We got beat off full two 0 right? We got beat off full two 0 Now we're versus Spurs this Saturday, I believe it is, right? We'll probably beat them three or four nil, or even one nil. That's the sort of team we are. Against the top teams, we always do well. Look, we do with Chelsea, one all. We could have won it, and you know it's, it's frustrating really as a, as a Liverpool fan. Do well. I know it's hard being a Liverpool fan, but being an Arsenal fan must be very hard. <laughs> the same thing every year, isn't it, with Arsenal? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm just praying we beat we beat um, Spurs on Saturday. Because if we don't, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. You know, I'll see what happens anyway. We just, just have to stay confident, believe in, believe in our club, and hopefully things can go well. Like I said, um, I've been a Liverpool fan all my life, and I've went through all the bad times with Roy Hudson, and bloody, you know, all of that, I've, you know. We are, and like I said, I still believe in the next two or three years, if he gets the right place, and we can still win the league with that manager. Because that manager knows what he's doing. He really does. But he needs a plan B on certain games. Because if we don't have a, we don't have a plan B, that's why we're getting beat all the time. Because teams know how we play. We we'll go forward, attack, attack, attack. That's all we do. Our defence is rubbish. You know, we need new defence, if you ask me. Actually, we need to get rid of Lovren. Um, we also need new left-back as well, because Miller's getting on, you know. So, yeah. Aye. So that's my opinion. Liverpool fans, what do you think? Do you think we can still get top four? Uh, do you think we'll beat Spurs on Saturday? Just leave a comment below. What do you think? What, what's, what, what's wrong, should I say? What has went wrong with this season? Um, yeah.
thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you all on my next video. Take care. Thanks so much for watching.